Brain Bobble presents 8 Traits That Lead to Social Anxiety If you're someone who struggles with social anxiety disorder, SAD, then you know firsthand how it can negatively impact your life. From uncomfortable social encounters to avoiding certain activities or places, the fear and stress associated with this condition can be overwhelming and exhausting. But did you know that certain traits or qualities of your personality could actually be contributing to your struggle with SAD? In this video, we'll explore 7 unexpected traits that may lead to social anxiety disorder and provide tips on how you can use this knowledge to start managing your symptoms. 1. Perfectionism Are you someone who feels like you need to be perfect or have it all in order to succeed? If so, you may find yourself feeling overwhelmed and anxious when things don't go as planned. This kind of pressure can lead to social anxiety and make it difficult for you to feel comfortable in certain situations. When you put too much pressure on yourself and your expectations are too high, it can create an unrealistic sense of perfection that leads to feelings of fear, nervousness, and self-doubt. It's important to recognize these issues and take steps towards managing your social anxiety. Taking time for yourself, talking to others about how you're feeling, and setting realistic goals are all great ways of tackling this issue. 2. Excessive Shyness If you're someone who is overly shy, it can be difficult to venture into social situations. You might find yourself avoiding things like crowded places, meeting new people, or public speaking that make you feel uncomfortable or scared. This can lead to feelings of anxiety and loneliness. It's important to identify the root cause of your anxiety so that you can learn how to manage it. Taking small steps such as joining a club or talking with a few friends can help build your confidence and make social situations less daunting. Offering to lend a hand at events, participating in conversations and challenging yourself to get out of your comfort zone are all great ways to become more comfortable in social settings. 3. Poor self-esteem and low confidence. A lack of self-belief can greatly impair your ability to interact in social settings. You may find yourself feeling anxious and uncomfortable, avoiding eye contact and comparing yourself to others. You may also have difficulty standing up for yourself or asserting your opinion due to a lack of confidence in your own ideas. This can lead to feelings of loneliness, even when surrounded by family and friends. It is important to identify the cause of these feelings so that you can work towards building up your confidence and becoming more comfortable in social situations. With practice, dedication, and perseverance, you can learn how to interact more effectively in any social setting. 4. Being easily embarrassed. Experiencing embarrassment often can create a feeling of unease in social situations, potentially leading to social anxiety. When embarrassment is triggered, you may experience an intense fear of being judged or ridiculed by others. Your fear may lead you to avoid social interactions altogether or reduce your participation in conversations. You may also find yourself overly self-critical and experience feelings of shame when making mistakes or acting in ways that are out of the ordinary for you. All these responses can make it difficult for you to relax around other people, allowing these cycles of anxious feelings and behavior to compound. Over time, these experiences can become increasingly overwhelming and lead to more serious issues with social phobia. It is important to take steps towards overcoming this type of anxiety so that you can start enjoying the benefits of meaningful relationships and community involvement. 5. Feeling Socially Insecure Self-doubt and fear of judgment in social settings can have a detrimental effect on one's mental health, potentially leading to distress. When you feel concerned about how others perceive you, you may become overwhelmed with negative self-talk, such as feeling that you don't belong or worrying that people are judging you. This can lead to behaviors such as avoiding social situations entirely or only interacting with people in your comfort zone. Your fear of any potential missteps can make it difficult for you to relax around other people, allowing anxious feelings and behavior to worsen over time. These experiences can become increasingly overwhelming, increasing your risk of developing social anxiety. There are many ways to heal yourself from feeling socially insecure. A few techniques you can try include identifying and addressing the core beliefs that cause your feelings of insecurity, practicing self-compassion and emotional expression, developing healthy coping tools, and engaging in activities that bring joy into your life. 6. Difficulty expressing emotions openly. 
Expressing your emotions can be tricky, especially when you feel socially insecure. It can be hard to reach out and connect with others if you don't feel comfortable expressing what's on your mind. Trying to keep your emotions inside can lead to a buildup of fear and anxiety, as well as negative self-talk or physical symptoms such as a racing heart, sweaty palms, or shallow breathing. All of these reactions can make it even more difficult for you to share how you're feeling in social settings. Of course, practice makes perfect. With work and dedication it is possible to learn how to manage your own emotions better and build up the confidence to express yourself openly among other people. 7. Having unrealistic expectations for yourself and others. When you set unrealistic expectations for yourself or others, it can lead to a sense of anxiety and discomfort in social settings. Putting too much pressure on yourself to succeed or meet certain standards that are impossible to achieve, it can create feelings of fear and self-doubt. These feelings can then lead to overthinking conversations, worrying about what to say, or obsessing over how you may come across to other people. You might also feel an intense pressure to deliver perfect results when interacting with others, whether it's in a work setting or socially. This can create a sense of dread when it comes to social situations and cause you to feel overwhelmed at the thought of talking to other people. Trying too hard to impress others or meet someone else's expectations can likewise erode your confidence and lead you into feeling anxious. Instead of setting impossible standards, learning to accept yourself, as well as those around you, for who they are can go a long way in helping to reduce social anxiety levels. 8. Fear of the unknown. When you have a fear of the unknown, it can play into your social anxiety in multiple ways. For one, you may find yourself doubting your ability to handle any type of conversation or interaction since you don't know what to expect. This could lead to increased levels of apprehension and panic as thoughts such as, what if I say the wrong thing, or, what if I make a fool of myself, run through your mind. Additionally, the unknown can be overwhelming and create an atmosphere of chaos where anything could happen. All this uncertainty can cause feelings of dread and amplify your existing doubts about facing new people or situations. As a result, your social anxiety could further intensify leading to more difficulty in engaging with others. One way to address this fear of the unknown is to practice mindful thinking and reframe your thoughts from ones of worry to ones of curiosity and openness. This can help reduce the stress associated with being confronted with something new, and encourage a sense of adventure instead. Developing strategies to help manage your social anxiety is an important step in taking control of your life. By recognizing the signs and symptoms of this condition, you can better prepare yourself with effective coping mechanisms to reduce your stress. Remember, you are never alone, and there are many resources available to support you on your journey. Practice self-compassion and be kind to yourself, it's the best way to take charge and get on track towards a more fulfilled and healthy life. And for more insightful tips and mind-expanding food for thought, subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks for watching.